Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. OK. So, we were doing the ephemeral storage. I finally put a cover, you know, I had too much pressure. I had to put a cover on it, so this one is going to be just the little people. They're all here, right, so I can see them and see what I need to use. And then, as you know, you can do the other way. You get to stay straight. I was even thinking you could, um, you know, if you make that smaller, because it kind of stays up, and then you can put like a, you know, like a little display. I don't even know if it shows properly on the camera, but like a little uh, photo display, because they do stand up. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's perfect. I can put them away. I mean, you can tie them up, but it's not that, you know, they stand up perfect. I need them, they're standing up. I need them, I take them, I flip through them. Okay, done with that. That's the one that I had done already. That's the other one that we kind of did together. And I figured this one I'm gonna use for flowers and butterflies. Did the cover, little tip, do the cover before you paste everything together. Otherwise it's a little bit of a nightmare, so you know. So the flowers, I figure, okay, well, and then I remember, you know, in uh, Eve giveaway little book, I made that little uh, display where you can put tickets or pictures or whatever you want, anyhow. And I figure I can display the flowers just like that. Pretty cool. And then I thought, well, why don't we try to make one? And then this way, you can do that too, if you want to. This being said, you're gonna need patience and determination. If there's children around, just, you know, get them to play outside because there's some bad words going on sometimes. Anyhow, I got to do the butterfly side. So I figure we do the butterfly side right here. This is what I use. You need something a little, I call it fluffy. It's not really fluffy, but something a little bit, uh, you know, with some thickness, but soft thickness. So maybe where you, you know, people do quilting, they put this mushy stuff in the back. Okay, this is what I use. This is this. You kind of buy it like that. It's pretty cheap, it's like $4 or something at Home Depot. This is what you can use when you paint to protect the floor. I mean, you have, like, you can make yourself a wedding dress out of it. But it's got a plastic type of backing and the the other side is kind of smooth and like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of soft, right? This is what I use because, let me show you something. Because, see when you put this in, you want it to you know, give it some tension and, um, you know, those board that they, they, it's the same thing. You, you need some give for when you're going to take, put those thing in. Hopefully I explain it right, but this is what I use. Okay. So there you go. You cut it. I'm at the same size and all things like this, right? Okay. And then you take your book. Then you put your book on the side because we're not doing that for a while. You need uh, the brush, the makeup brush, because I mean, this is a little bit sparkling. If you want to keep it white, you can. So it'll be too white for I, what I need it to. This is, um, what's this one? Brush corduroy. So that's, that's what I use. And just 
give it, come on now, a little bit of, you know, take a little bit of the white off. It doesn't really take that long, but it can get, this size is kind of okay. When you start to do a smaller size, like the one for the giveaway, the old book, uh, it is a little bit trying on your nerves. Anyway, okay, good. Goes here. Now, you take some washi tape that you don't care for. This one is wet. Uh, feels good to be a llama. Okay, so see what I'm saying. I have pretty much no use for that. I don't even know how I ended up with that thing. Anyway, and then try to put it kind of straight. I mean, again, we're not going to measure anything, so we're just going to eyeball, but you know, a little bit straight is not, I have so much stuff. I'm putting everything away. I have stuff everywhere and then I get involved with that. Okay. So this is what we got. Then I use this. Grow Grand Ribbon, which is, you know, to, um, to put on the, on the seam of things, or whatever, if you saw, you know what that is, or ribbon, or, you know, whatever you got. Now, that was way too wide. So what I did is I just slice it in the middle. So now this is what we got. We get those stringy little things, okay, with fringe here and there, but yeah, that's okay. It's like sticks everywhere. Now, what you want to do is uh, really just go away. You want to crisscross, so you're gonna need a smaller one, you know. For the beginning, and then it gets a little bit wider, and then you, you right something like this. <clears throat> this one is a little bit too fringy. So if you want to do it perfectly, I mean perfectly, as perfect as you can, you can use a ruler and then, and then they kind of parallel, you know, go like, okay, that's a ruler. And then that's a ruler. So. What I'm trying to say is if you put this one that way and then you put your ruler, you go like, oh, right? I'm not straight. So it kind of help with that. So you kind of position it. Okay. Then you put another long one somewhere here. Again, you take your ruler. I got to a little bit more space it's about that and then uh, this is a little bit long one here now whatever distance you put you're gonna have to kind of keep together right I think that's going to be a little bit too close. Let me see. So we're going to put a ruler and a little bit of space. Ruler and a little bit of 
space. And you can, you know, you can have fun and measure the sides or line up on your mat or I just kind of just want to accomplish things so okay and then this one is about right okay now what you need you need a visual so I like better to put it together first and see where I go now you get to keep in mind that wherever it's gonna cross this is where you're gonna put those brads, right? So the more they cross, the more brads. And you get to figure if you wanna put brads, they're gonna have to get into the back. See, if they cross here, there's nothing you can do because you're not even on it, right? I mean, but I'm explaining. I'm, this is obviously obvious about this so we put that here so see I'm gonna have just explaining here I'm gonna have a bright here bright here bright here bright here nothing here but we're still gonna do something about it okay and then about the ruler and then about here so th this is gonna cross out so maybe we're just gonna cheat and put it a little bit closer so I have a chance to put a bride right here and then another one over there so of course I don't have enough See, the good thing if you do that is you cut one and you have two pieces, right? I mean, two length. Or, or you make your life easier and you take a narrower ribbon to start with. But I wanted to put yellow, so of course the only yellow I had was a little bit too wide. Okay. So then this one here, but this one looks like there's gonna be nothing here. So we're gonna have to bite the bullet here. So I'm gonna have, a bright here and a bright here. And maybe we're not gonna have that. Then a bright here. Okay, that should go. That should work. That looks kind of cool, right? right so now what we do this is the thing we take the glue and then we glue the ends okay so put something here so it doesn't go it goes like this this end here you put a dab of glue. I mean, I'm sure there must be an easier way to do it, but you know what, that's what works for me. So dab of glue here. Dab of glue here. No, not here, here. Dab of glue here. See what I say? Patience coming to uh, play here. Okay, double glue here. And this one is going here. That's what we said. All right, so I'm gonna put, see here we're gonna have a brad. So I'm gonna put the dab of glue at the other end. Pretty much you get to glue the end to 
whichever fabric you're using. Otherwise, it will be a nightmare. Okay, so you put in a dab of glue here. Everything happened. You got stuff on your glue. All right, so we secure here. Is this one secure? Yes, we did that. So here we don't have to worry about it. Be a bride here, a bride here. So we keep on doing the ends. There's an end here. Put a glue. Okay, I'm not gonna say any bad words, but you know, I'm thinking it. Okay, here you're gonna have to put a brad no matter what because this is too close to put one on this edge. So, dab of glue here, dab of glue on the other one. Stay there. Good. All right. Now we have glue here, glue here. Because there's no room to put. I hope you can still see. There's no room to put a brand. Now you take the other end. Uh, before this one, we're gonna do that one. So I'm picking up both here. I know it looks extremely annoying, but once you're done with that, then pretty much you're done. I mean, with the gluing part anyway. Okay, so this is glued, this is glued, this is glued, this is glued, this is not glued, this is, we glue that, I get to glue this, I get to glue this one, I get to glue this one here. I mean, if anybody knows a better way to do that, please put it in the comments and I think everybody's gonna love you. Okay. And they kind of lozenge diamond shape, right? Oh, I got this one that I didn't glue because I'm all right on here. So I'm gonna take this old guy off. Here you go. La I don't like llama anymore, go away. here I already got glue everywhere on me okay well so hopefully yours was as easy as the, that's <clears throat> my experience there was kind of easy so as you do a few then you know you get the hang I mean, it's like anything then you go like oh I know how to do that Okay, so it's all glued on the ends. Now, you take the little, well, I'm sure you didn't use the uh, llama washi tape, but whatever washi tape you used at the ends, just take it off. Okay, and now you take the brads so it doesn't happen to you what happened to me just put a punch there because you're in the middle of it and then you're running out of it 
I use those. Uh, you don't want a gigantic bag, so I use small one. Now, be aware that if you do something on a smaller scale, you're gonna have to use smaller bread, like I did before, and then it gets really annoying. But you know, you still can do it. Okay, now you take your pokey, wokey tool which conveniently disappeared yeah this the poke we say we're gonna put one here but let's take a easy one we say we're gonna put one here right so you poke and just you know what make it easy for yourself poke all the way in take your brand put it in Open it in the back, you know, we can check that afterward. But right now, you want it to have it. See what I mean? Because then it kind of go in, and that's the whole idea. Otherwise, it's not going to hold anything. <clears throat> if it's there really flat, well, you know, that is not. can do this one here. So you can cheat. <clears throat> you don't have to go all the way in the middle because you're going to be at the edge here so you go you know where you get enough root room to put one and you put this guy in bam and as i said just open them and smoosh them and then when we flip it over we can correct if things are out of whack okay so we got one here because if you see how it's a little bit loose and everything but once you put those thing in it just really get it you know tight to the to the um, fabric i sure hope this is making sense anyway that's what you do until you're done and that so, like this, I hope everybody's doing well. We're a little bit back on regular schedule, which that's a relief. Which means we're not gonna have as much time to craft because, you know, okay. Please, there we go. And when you poke, just poke as, you know, I mean, don't make a gigantic hole, but give yourself enough room that it's not a whole uh, problem to... Okay, poke. Now, if those things are not lined up, like this one, and you're in the middle of doing something, just kind of bend them a tiny little bit. And then what happened, well, it's banded, yes, but the two ends come together. And then you put it straight when you get in the back. Okay, here, I don't know if we're gonna we see if we got room to do that. Mm, gonna put one here. So my point is, once you glued all your hands as kind of you know not that hard so you're gonna have maybe see I guess we didn't put any glue here but anyway you can correct that afterward now the other thing too I'm doing this for myself right because this, I want to put my, you know, all my fussy cut and everything so they don't get destroyed. So the thing is this. Maybe it's going to have imperfection. Maybe it's not going to be exactly right. Maybe, you know, and honestly, uh, at this point, I really don't care. Because my main goal is to get those flowers in order. In order. I'm sorry. Okay. Please, here. Hmm. 
And then you're gonna, when we're gonna glue it, we're gonna stretch it even more. That's why it's good to uh, use some type of fabric rather than, you know, I don't even know if it works if you use cardstock. I didn't try, so I wouldn't be able to. This one is not straight, is it? You know, if we put a big rose here, it's not gonna show, right? Okay, one here. Okay, still get one here. Mm, we say we maybe we try to put one here. I don't know. I just don't know about that. I just don't. See what I was telling you? I got no more brands. <sighs> See, I don't know what the wisdom of, I'm not gonna put one here. I'm gonna try to put one here though. Maybe here, I can cheat on that one. Cheating is allowed when it's convenient for you. Okay, um, I'm gonna cheat here too. I'm gonna cheat here. And I think we'll be done cheating. You know what I mean by cheating, right? We're not putting it right in the middle. But it has to be, I don't even know if this is gonna work. It has to be. Yeah, this one is not gonna cooperate for some reason. <sighs> See, that's what happens when you cheat. Turns bad for you. It's not exactly in the middle, but at least, you know, it's there. Uh, this one, what do I do? Do I put one? No, yeah, what the heck. Just make myself happy here. Okay. All right. Now, flip it over. Make sure it's all you know, like this one is going to the outside, so you just undo it, flip it, put it back. This one is a little bit on the outside too. Turn it. Take your fish knife if you have one, add you and just press down on it. Mm. 
You done. Told you it was not that bad. Okay, and then we're gonna put glue on some ends. So you cut what's popping out, so matter as well. Flip it so you can see what we're doing. And it looks pretty cool. And you can put pictures, you can put tickets, you can put, I don't know, whatever you got you want to put in there. I'm going to put flowers and butterflies. So this one we're going to glue before we cut. You know what? Because we know better. Don't we? You know all those stuff we cut and we shouldn't have cut and it's too late because it's cut. Yeah, we got a bunch of those. Too many. Cut here. Now keep all that because, you know, you can use that on little um, tags or things. Okay, here we're going to see if you have any, check if you have any loose ends like this one. Put a dab of glue. Hmm. Like so. Cut. Okay. Just figure out which way looks better. I think this way looks better. Take the book. Take the book. Open the book. Okay, and now we glue it, and that's what I wanted to. Does it look better this way or this way? I like it better this way. Okay, so glue. I'm using the the screen one because it's kind of plasticky in the back here. So I don't know how any other type of glue will be reliable. Okay. And then you put a go all around. Don't put any in the middle. I mean, I didn't, so I mean, if you want, I don't know what it does if you put some in the middle, but I didn't because I want it to be able to stretch it. So I thought, you know, if I put glue, maybe it's not gonna stretch out. Okay, and then kind of put it down. Like so. And that's when you stretch it. And you can actually stretch it pretty good. Put it as flat as you possibly can. Okay, let it dry, otherwise your butterfly will never fly. They will be glued down. And then, see this one is good because it kind of dry fast. Now, there's no glue other than the edge, there's no glue anywhere in here, so that's safe. It's butterfly safe. 
So let's see. See, this is so cool because they're not gonna get ruined. They're not gonna lose the little antennas and all that stuff. And they're pretty secure. I mean, as much as the little people, once in a while, they kind of like ship this way, ship that way. But the flowers I got on this other page there, they didn't move at all. Okay, so keep the small one for, you know, bottom part. Big one for the middle. You can put one here, but you can also put another one there right will you be able to do that over here and then I mean this is pretty cool because you can just like you know do um, synchronize flying <laughs> You just make them fly the way you want them to so the coolest thing is if you do a few of those you can sort them you know the flowers you can sort them by colors or sizes I like colors better actually I think we look more for colors than anything else and then we see what kind of size is available Say this one can totally go in here. Can you? Ew. We're gonna make you fly sideways. Yes. I'm gonna put the little guy here. I got a bird. Oh, I'm gonna have to do one for birds. This is never gonna end. This is never gonna end. So you see what I mean by you can put pictures or tickets. You know, the little stuff that get always caught in something and before you know it, it's missing a wing or it's creased or bent or the antenna or missing. I can put another little guy here. And then you get a good view of what you got, I think. I think I can put another big one here. Hold on, you. I'm going to put a big guy here, and then you on top. Here. Double butterfly. Anyway, get my drift, right? See what it does? It's pretty cool. And the holes, pretty good. Right? So on this side, I'm gonna do the butterfly. And then, when all the butterflies are done, I'm gonna do the flowers. I'm gonna keep on doing with the flowers. And just like the little people, if you wanna look, you can unfold the whole thing. Wanna look at your butterflies. You can look at all your butterflies. Pretty neat. I think you have it. Again, I forgot to say, if you get to subscribe, please subscribe. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty rewarding. It looks really nice. Nice. Job well done. Bye.